Hi, it's TR back with another truck camper restoration video. And today we're finishing up refitting the inside out. Does that make sense? <laughs> Fitting out the inside? How about that? Yeah, so this cabinet goes up in the corner here and it sits up in the corner of the bed area. And uh, it's got a little water damage over here. It's not bad. I'm going to sand it. I'm going to paint it. So that's what I'm going to work on right now is just finish getting this stripped down. Time for a time lapse. All right, Mama, you're going to be just fine. The sparrows don't like it when I set up right here. <laughs> Let's figure out what we got here. 10 5 eighths. 10 and 5 eighths. We'll go 14. Okay, 10 and 5 eighths by 14. This one and I actually want to cut this shelf down that's also 14 actually it's going to be 15 and 3 16 15 and 3 16 Am I that accurate? We'll see. And then I want to cut this shelf down. Okay, so we got to think this through. I'm going to pre-drill some holes through this for some wires and through that. So let's do that real quick. I should have done that before I put that wall on. Actually, I think what I want to do is just remove that piece. That'll work better. Now, what I'm going to do is leave this the same length, but I'm going to cut a slot in this. As soon as I can find my pencile. There. So I think what we'll do is we'll just cut a slot right here. It won't be that deep. Come in here. Nine sixteenths. Okay, I got a tip for you when you're working with your multi saw to get a good clean cut so that it doesn't, so the blade doesn't float around. Take your utility knife and something like this square and do a cut like this. If I cut this back here where I can work, I can cut this with my utility knife.
All right, I'm happy with this. Now I'm gonna go get a couple pieces here for the back wall in here. Okay, so I spent a couple hours yesterday working on this cabinet here. This is, goes up inside the corner here of the cab over, and I need to get it in place because I'm trying to get started on the electrical, but I have a lot of electrical stuff that's gonna be coming to this location, so I needed to get this cabinet in place. I'm going to build and frame in a false frame here and here because I'm gonna use that as a wire chase. And uh, that's going to hide all the wires that are going to come in here because I have a number of things that are going to come into this. Also, this piece right here, all right, is should come out if you have should come out. There it comes. All right, and so this is going to give me access in here. There's an outlet that goes in here. There's going to be a USB power port in here, a couple switches in here, and then probably a couple switches, you know, down. So I've got uh, quite a few pieces to paint today. I'm going to paint this, and then uh, I think we'll be in good shape. I think we'll be uh, done with uh, all the other pieces that need to go back in. All right, I'm going to do another quick coat of paint on everything. Just get it all nice and cleaned up and looking pretty. First thing I'm going to do though is take this Duragold tack rags. I love these things. They're inexpensive. I'll leave a link to them in the description of this video to my Amazon store where you can help support the channel. Remember as an Amazon affiliate, I get a small commission, but you pay the same price. So I'm just going to tack this off. I'll tack these doors off, get some paint out, and we're going to go to painting which is the perfect opportunity for a time-lapse.
All right. We'll turn that fan off for just a minute. So this is where this cabinet goes. Okay, it goes in here and up against this wall. There's some uh, brackets back here that you just screw it off. And we will use those. I've got some extras that I'm going to throw on it. But it's looking good. All right, I'm going to lay this down, staple some gimp on it. Here, up here, around here. Well, that, that will be good. So, zip, 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 zip. And then, we'll see about uh, bringing this bottom up. So, uh, it's too hot in here to uh, not have the fan on, so uh, time for time lapse. <laughs> mounted in here it's all good and firm I'm real happy with it I need to wash my hands because I'm getting hand dirty handprints all over the cabinets now but uh, yeah I'm, I'm real happy with the way this turned out it went in there nice uh, the seams and everything it's a, it's a nice fit I had a couple of little problems here and there I'll have to come back and I got to touch up a couple holes I had a screw come through over here you know minor things like that and then we'll get that all cleaned up and then in the next episode we're going to start the electrical so you don't want to miss that. So be sure and subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you'd like this episode, give me that thumbs up. I always appreciate those. If you'd like to support the channel in another way, you can by visiting one of the affiliates that I have links for in the description of this video. I've got Rec Pro in there, Renogy, and then of course Amazon. And as an affiliate, when you use those links, I get a small commission. You'll pay the same price. And every little bit helps. I thank you in advance. So thanks for watching this episode in the Truck Camper Renovation Series. Until we get together the next time, peace. Peace. Bye. Man, it's freaking hot. Here. It must be 100. I should get a thermometer, a thermostat, a thermo something or other. Bye.